take you from glory to glory, man. And so, you know, they got some people look at, you know, my position, or one of the ministers or whatever, and they, they come here for a week and they want to do what we do. You understand what I'm saying? And uh, that's not the way it go in the kingdom of God. The anointings come incrementally. The promotions come incrementally. You got to be faithful with little, and then you move up. I got some pictures, amen, that I just want to share with you before we go. And, and uh, <laughs> that's me. You understand what I'm saying? Now, I'm in Baton Rouge, man. I don't know how old I am, right? I might be, what, babe, 23, 24? But you see the type of books I got? I got a concordance, and I got a Bible open. I'm studying. When God brought me to Baton Rouge, amen, we started some Bible studies over there. I was leading a little body. Look at my little wife. Oh. But you see, the thing is, she looked the same, though, huh? I'm trying to get some, I'm trying to get some point. Get some point. She looks exactly the same. But that was a little Bible study we used to do. Huh, my love? Amen. And it was at the BSU, just a few people, but when you're faithful and little. And I used to teach twice a week. I'd go there on Mondays, and I would teach the service on Thursdays in Baton Rouge, and and so that's something that I was doing, amen, and I, w I was in my 20s doing that. We had a little service. We had our own little worship team, and we was witnessing on campus. It was, you know, God was, he, he, was, he was preparing me. Now, I didn't know. I, I wanted, to make, wanted to make $10 million on a case. You understand what I'm saying? I'm trying to catch a case here. But, but, he, but he was preparing me to pastor. You see that incremental blessing. You know, people just want to jump up here, but they ain't teaching no Bible study no way. They're not, they're not, they're not pastoring nobody on a smaller level. You know, you know, let God, you know, let God, let God work with you. Now, now this right here, after the little Bible study, uh, we started a men's group. It was called ISI, Iron Sharpens Iron. And uh, hallelujah. And so it was a bunch of guys from Baton Rouge, from different churches, and in fact, all of us in that picture, we are now pastors, all of us, all of us are, yeah, all of us, yeah, I'm talking about gangsters and everything, the one on the left, that's Cleveland, he a pastor, the one with the striped shirt, we call him Gangster Nat, G Nat, you know what I'm saying, what we call the one on the end, baby? Nana Brown, yeah, Nana Brown, so you know, but, but what God was doing, you see what we doing in that picture, we stay up sometimes two, three o'clock in the morning. Just talking about the word. Nothing else. Nothing else. Just talking about the word and the goodness of God. We'd go witness together. We'd have Christmas holiday parties. Eyes, eyes, throwing a Christmas party. And we'd have all our families there. You know? Mega beginnings. Go ahead, flip through. Come on. Mega beginnings. Oh, okay. <laughs> you see, that's some of the other guys, man. You know? I think that's guys, that's girls. <laughs> that's girls, all right. All right, that's from something else. That's the BSU. All right, so that's some of the other guys, you see. All right, flip through again, let's see. Now, y'all won't notice that. Now, this is my brother that passed away in the yellow shirt. This is red. And uh, this was back, uh, me and my wife, we, we was only married, I don't know, like two years. We were throwing marriage retreats. We were taking couples out of town. We were in... Uh, golf, golf, golf Shores. We was in Mississippi, and uh, we we was we was we just wanted to minister. My brother was there. Uh, Kendrick Martin. Kendrick Martin. You know how? You can't see him. The picture isn't he in the shadows back then. But on the right way over here, Shirley, you you recognize who that is? <laughs> that's that's brother Brent, cause Shirley and Brent them came on our little first marriage. Retreat. Oh, by the way, we're gonna try to throw a church marriage retreat coming soon. Amen. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to take y'all all out of town. Amen. Praise God. My wife been on me about about getting back to what you know our foundational ministry is, which is marriage. We love to minister to minister to marriages, and so uh, so I'm just trying to say this. You know, making a long story short, you gotta start small. In ministry, in business, and boy, as that thing grew, you know, because it will. Yeah. 